Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is the Alpha 7 Experimental Series, uh, episode something, uh, episode 14 or 15, I think, maybe 15? Let's say 15. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Last episode you saw me smash down the drone base and kind of just kind of check around, look around a little bit and and not do much while I was up there. So off camera I finished looting it and multi-tooled down the whole thing uh, into blocks. So let's take a look at what I actually got for loot. What I got for loot was um, a whole bunch of blocks, uh, a whole bunch of mats, a whole bunch of ridiculous amounts of medium armor. <laughs> this was pretty much all the, I think I got a couple from civilian POIs, but other than that there was like 14 or 15 suits of medium armor from the drone base. Yeah. So I don't think I ever need medium armor again. Not, not in this series. <clears throat> okay, we also um, have a whole ton of blocks. You can see stacks of combat steel blocks, and that's what we're going to be grabbing today. So uh, we're going to be building a CV up where the drone base was, which I now own, and it's just a big flat deck for us to build our CV on. So let's grab our stuff. We're going to want... <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to want uh, some grow plots. We're going to want... I don't care about the clone chamber. I've got mag stations. So we're going to grab these one, two, three stacks of uh, combat steel. Oh, there's another small stack. So we'll grab all the combat steel blocks. We will grab all the thrusters that I made. I made 36. I uh, plan on putting six on in each direction. Uh, we're going to need our starter and then we're going to need a we can multi-tool the cockpit off there we're going to need a core because I'm going to be multi-tooling the core and moving it RCS, we're going to need um, fuel tanks the generators uh, we'll do the gravity gen warp drive tank warp drive just want to make I'll get all the essentials. Oh, the hangar doors, the armored doors. Uh, we can probably just grab. Okay, so I want some deco, maybe a shutter door. I'm gonna need lights. We'll get the tech deco, cargo blocks, automatic door blocks for inside. Transitioning between, if they're, if I, yeah. Uh, well, I've got the. I probably won't need all. I got the armored blocks. Okay, so O2. O2 station. Let's go upstairs and put these in the SV. And then we can just oops, turn my jetpack on. There we go. And then we can just um, head up there and start putting this together. I'm kind of excited. Okay, so let's uh, get all this stuff in here. Lots of fuel, lots of O2 for now. We're going to be flying the CV back down here to, to, you know, to stock up, basically. Okay, so let's grab more. And blocks, so we want, want some furniture deco. Oh, window blocks. You know what, I'm going to grab these, because maybe they're, you need to upgrade those. A lot of the stuff I've noticed now, if you put, let the smaller stuff in the in the constructor now before you make the bigger stuff. A lot of the bigger stuff requires you to make the smaller stuff first and if it's in your constructor it just uses it. So that's that's awesome. Now we can actually upgrade uh, stuff. Um, I know the fuel tanks were like that. <clears throat> the fridge was like that. Um, 
Yeah, I'm sure there's a bunch of other stuff. I just can't think of it right now. <laughs> anyway, oh, a bunch of the handheld weapons are like that. And that was another big thing today. There was an update which balanced all the handheld weapons out. So I ended up making myself, I upgraded my pulse rifle to a T2 because I had a bunch of kits. So, yeah. And by picking flowers earlier today, I ended up uh, hitting level 25 too. So, uh, there's that. <clears throat> Let's keep grabbing all this stuff. We got three advanced constructors to throw in. Armor locker. A lot of the stuff I just looted as blocks too. Keep in mind. Bunch of ventilators, cargo blocks, minigun turret, drill turret, which is going to be awesome. Um, repair station. I don't need T1 fridges. Now this is a CV. That's for base only. Uh, I'll grab some sentry guns. So yeah, I, I looted 24 sentry guns. We'll need elevator blocks. Uh, potentially stair and rail. Don't need the flares right now. Don't need any other blocks, I don't think. Should I grab these anyway? Yeah. <coughs> that I can upgrade, and I should. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you, for example. So. Let's say we wanted a T2 fuel tank. You can see that its requirement is now a T1 fuel tank. So if I put, you can see it actually does not have that. It's it's yellow, so it, it needs to fabricate it. It just means it can, because it's still yellow. Um, green means it actually has it available and doesn't need to fabricate that item. So let's put this in here. No, my, oh, my, it's full. My constructor is full, full. Wow, that's um, some real first world problems. So let's pull. I'll pull my drill out. Oh, by the way, I put my drill in there because I was probably going to have to make another T two one. Eventually, I've repaired it a couple times. And logging in the conversion auto killed my drill for some reason but whatever I don't care uh, let's just pull that out for now we'll put this in so now you can see that we meet the requirements for the fuel tank I'm gonna go ahead and just make that and so it used the fuel tank plus a couple other resources and it upgraded it you can see it used some cobalt uh, I think some steel plate Electronics, cobalt, fiber, steel plate, and a fuel tank. Okay, so the next one needs, well, it needs a T2 fuel tank. And electronics, steel plate, fiber. Okay, so uh, if it's sitting in here, I'm not sure if it'll utilize it. It says it's got one, so let's try. Yep, it utilized it from the other one. And that only makes sense because it creates them. Let's say I didn't have it available. It would actually create all three because it would have to create the small one first to create the middle one and then to create itself. So there we go. We got another T3 fuel tank by upgrading a small one twice. There you have it. Uh, so let's keep grabbing stuff and you can see I've got a lot of kits in here uh, just lots and lots and lots of ore I haven't made any of my auto miners yet which I should it's just that I'm really limited on the Zascosium and Arrestrium like 70 some odd uh, I have no coils they're not easy to loot anymore they don't just hand them out with the uh, plasma drones anymore um, okay, so I think all we need is some food. So let's, let's grab a stack of 20 canned vegetables and let's go put this thing together. <clears throat> um, oh, actually, it is going to need a whole bunch of lights though, so let's just build. Let's build 10 of those and one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Yeah. 
six of the pot lights. Uh, and I am going to need a bunch of lights. So, hmm. Should I? Should I just bring a cheap generator along? Throw a little bit of fuel into one of these T3 fuel tanks just to power up some lights or bring some portable work lights and just place them around in the dirt I won't be, or I can pop out ah, I can pop blocks out, pull the dirt up re refill it and then put that on the dirt so let's make some portable work lights we'll just surround it see that? See what it did there? It utilized a portable work, work like one. So if I had some of those, I could actually just throw them in the constructor and it would upgrade them to work like two. See that? So that's kind of a new thing. Um, upgrade paths for actual blocks now that never had upgrade paths before. So that's kind of cool. Medic station does not require a clone station though. And large O2 tanks do not require small O2 tanks. Huh. Okay, so I mean not everything has an upgrade path. Large ammo box, not a small needed. Uh, cart well, okay. Uh, yeah, interesting. What about these? Yes, they require additional cores every time. Ouch. And device. So they get real expensive. So technically, with all the resources I have, I can only make one T2. <laughs> oh, five power coils plus a T1, which requires no power coils. Oh. Oh, I could make probably all of them into T1s and start throwing those out. You know what? Because you can upgrade them anyway, so let's do that. We'll just let that go. Okay. So, we're not going to place those today. We're going to go build a CV. Let's get up here. And get in here. Flying. I just want to place some um, food in the fridge. Oh, I had stuff in there that spoiled. Oh well. Whoops. Pumpkins. Okay. Hmm. Note to self: check the fridge before shutting off vehicle. And I don't have to worry about drones. Smashing the POIs. Okay, I'm getting some really weird. It's kind of like not really fault lines, but it's like terrain lines that are. Oh, it seems to have settled down. Okay. Don't know. That's trippy. Train glitchiness. Huh. Now keep in mind, this is an upgrade that affects um, items, but if you've already generated a world, it will create it will also do stuff to the train because I believe they were changing whoa bob and weave bob and weave <laughs> shooting at me whoa buddy uncool okay <laughs> you're you, you're just 
You're just bad. Uh, I need to deal with that because that's really uncool, but... Whoa, he's shooting at me. <laughs> Go! <laughs> okay. Note to self. Um, there's still a shoot EPOI between yourself and the drone base. Yes, I said shooty. I think I stole that from uh, Lift Pizzas. And what? Oh, uh, I don't think I've dealt with that POI up there either, have I? Or is that the one I did deal with? No, I don't. I'm not sure. Let's just avoid it. It's dark. <laughs> uh, switching to... Oh, that's hideous. And... Okay. Where's my... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, um... Hello? Where's my base? the former drone base. Okay. Let's level off. I guess we'll just park in a corner. Get out of the way. Get my optimal parking skills going here. A little crooked, but oh, stop auto leveling my camera. Thank you. Lights off, that's why. Huh. I can... My light goes right through dirt. <laughs> it's like uber powerful. Okay. So, I don't have to worry about drones, but I do have to worry about critters. And I probably don't have to worry about the temperatures. Let's just jump out. Get these portable work lights going. I don't think they're going to allow me to place them on my base. At least I was never able to do that before, so we're going to try. Yeah, no, we can't. Okay, so... Should we just do the outsides then and really crank up the... Let's do that. So I've kind of got an idea what I want to do with the build. I just got to get some better lighting here. Sorry, it's going to be a long time before daylight. I'll just, uh, I should have made more of the, these and just put them everywhere, right? I'm not going to have enough lighting. Well, we'll just have to suffer. I'll put this one down at this far corner here. You know what? I think we can live with it, eh? Not bad for in the middle of the night. I can also, I, I'm, I think we might be able to, no, that's my, come on, I want to, can I adjust the, no, I can't, try, can I adjust the, no, it's not going to let me adjust those lights, so they're just, they are what they are, okay, they're pretty bright. And they shed a lot of light in a... Well... When you're close to them. <laughs> so, there, I'm getting light from there. Okay, so... I will... It'll be okay. And it's light enough in the middle here by... 
I don't know. Moonlight? Starlight? Anyway, let's grab this stuff so I don't have the starter on me. I need the starter and blocks right now is really what I need. So let's just put all this stuff in my metal blob. So we'll go into the cargo box and we'll just empty everything into there. Oh, and I forgot to make more windows. That's okay. I can, I'll just upgrade those when I install them. Not that big of an issue. Okay, so we want the starter and blocks for right now. Um, and the hangar doors. Because that's going to determine everything. <laughs> my build is based on my hangar size. Okay, so I think I can get the optimal length by going on a diagonal and that will also make it so that my blocks don't sync with the base so often because the and I'll be able to clearly see if they're if they're syncing with the base because then that'll it'll go you'll see um okay so let's do this way up here So we'll do it as forward as possible. And so we want as much room as possible back here, although I do want to stretch out the front a bit. So we'll, do, we'll place it there. Okay, so let's drone this up. I'm just gonna Go somewhere in the middle here, so my drone can reach both ends. Okay, should be able to reach. It's just for just because I need my I need my radar. I don't care that I there's no such thing as drones anymore on this planet, except for the few str stragglers, really. Okay, let's get some blocks down. Okay, so what I plan on doing is, let's, first of all, let's come out. It's not going to be wide enough, but I'll probably have to... Eh, maybe always taper it back see how it went crooked there see because it's trying to place it on the base so now I can tell see if I was lined up with the base I can end up putting stuff on the base by accident and have I trust me it's just annoying so now if you if you go on an angle it you don't have that issue so let's just fill this thing right up then. So we'll just go as far as we can back. Oh, come on. And okay, and we'll just keep doing that. And we want to go up to there. Oh, come on. No, come on. there yep yep okay and then should we go back even further that's quite quite long I'm just afraid that I won't be able to lift this thing with with the thrusters hmm Okay, so let's let's pop the um, the hangar door on. And 
Okay, so that is going to need to be a 7 by 5 minimum. Okay. So, I think right now what I need to do is just box this right in and just make one long tube out of it. So let's do that. So we're just going to box this right in. Oops, a little too high. Come on. Nope. Ugh. Okay, right there. And that's as far as it'll let me. I mean, obviously, if there's too many blocks, I'll just multi tool them off, but. going to be enough because I'll probably be starting to taper down by then so let's put this up my builds are like cheap and easy they're they're basically all function they're not really about um, about looks usually So I went a little further on that side. Okay, so let's and then we'll we'll literally just roof this right off here. I'm just wondering. Okay, so I'm gonna have I need one, two, and then a floor. One, two, okay, good, so five, so I need to put the roof on top. I can't put it, I can't start at this level, that's too low, I need it one higher. So let's just do that then. Come on. And forward, is that as far as you'll go? Okay, well, I don't care. I'll just keep throwing these on. We've already went through half a stack almost. <laughs> yep. So those three stacks are going to come in quite handy that I looted off the uh, drone base. Pretty much this entire thing is going to be made out of the drone base. <laughs> Except for the, you know, I mean, not the entire thing, but the shell of it anyway, all its armor. Okay, so um, and then oh crap. Ugh, I just derped. <sighs> Damn it. Darn. Darn it. Okay, disassemble gives me the whole block. I need to... Redo this. I just realized... I don't have the... I don't have the double thickness bottom floor. So I can raise this up one. And that means raising the door up one too. <clears throat> Stupid bit of a waste of my charges. 
not a waste of blocks. You can see I'm getting the blocks back. It's just a bit of a waste of time. I'm not thinking. And these things happen while you're building, and that's what the multi tools are for <laughs> to help out derps. <coughs> Almost. <laughs> okay, a charge worth of derp. And whoops. Okay, so now we need to lay down a whole layer. Uh, now I'm not going to do the the walls double thickness on the inside because there's going to be a, a whole bunch of um, thrusters and some open uh, open cavity space uh, with RCS's thrusters and then another bunch of blocks on that so they'll, it will be double it'll be thicker than double anyway let's get this down let's get this down where it was supposed to be before I derped. Come on. And that's its max. Yeah, and a lot of you are thinking, double thickness, that's overkill. Not really. Not really. Doesn't take much to pop one block out, and if that's all you got between yourself and the cockpit, then you're dead. Sorry, but you're just dead. Okay, so I'm gonna need to move all that shit. Or shoot. Stuff. Disassemble the cockpit. I'm going to disassemble these regular steel blocks. Um, I gotta build a spot for that to go. Okay, so let's put the door back in. Okay, and we were doing the seven by five. There we go. And let's put the roof back on. Come on, one more, thank you. And that's the max. And... Come on, one more, oh, gotta go back one, yeah. So the, if, if there's like a maximum block count you can place at any given time, I guess. I'm not really sure. I think it's a maximum block count. It sure feels like it, because if you go back one, your your columns increase. Okay. Okay, so in here, we're gonna be building a hangar bay, and we want it to be at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven thick. Yeah, it takes up a huge chunk of the ship, I know. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, we'll do eight. So on nine is where we put a wall. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Okay, so let's on nine. Although that is a little massive might not need to go so far deep although it yeah let's 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 move this back okay so let's do one two three four five six 
seven. And we'll do eight for the wall. Yeah. That's what we'll do. So let's just fill this in. Okay, so this is the basic hanger. Just gonna pop a door spot in the middle. And then we can put like a, we don't have them on us. That's okay, I don't need them right now. The hanger doors. Or not the hanger door, but the armor doors. Okay, so here we're gonna have a floor. So, so that's one, two blocks high. So that floor will go here. We'll extend that out. Come on. And might be too far. Um, okay, so this is where our equipment like the constructors and um, some of the deco, the, the, the food processor, fridges, stuff like that. Uh, although I do want to get some grow plots in here. We need one, two, three, four, five, six. So grow plots are going to start right there. One, two, three. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Let's, um, I guess I should repair that. I obviously nuked it with the Come on. There we go. And I thought over here I'd popped one too. Yeah, right there. So the multi-tool when you're disassembling really the T2 one can do some massive damage to your blocks. So be aware of that. If you miss and you hit one of your blocks, then you're gonna want to repair that. It's like a huge chunk of damage. That looks damaged to you, doesn't it? It's not though. Okay. Uh, let's get this down. And then we need, we're gonna do a slight ramp. Yeah, we'll do this. And then I guess we need more blocks here again. And then that. And then we'll just do one more of these. See how it's, come on, thank you. Okay, so that's enough for my HV to climb up, no problem. Uh, okay. Okay. And then... So that is going to be out too far there. But we're going to have to extend this quite a bit. And I need to put the core in somewhere. So I'm thinking... right here yeah one back oops trying to repair it don't need to repair okay so we're gonna go there with the core okay so do I did I have that on me no so I gotta go get that too so let's grab a bunch more blocks
Okay. We need the grow plots. Grab some more of those. Even though we're probably not going to need. So we've got an excess of those now. Let's grab all the stuff that's going upstairs. It was just looted blocks that can, you can put on a CV, so I just gathered all that together. Okay, so we need to put this stuff in here. So starting off with getting rid of these blocks here, and then we'll get rid of the core. So now we're going to replace the core. We're going to put it up here because the roof is going to have double protection on it too. That's not it. There we go. Okay. So the core is there. We need to make a cockpit. So let's get these growth. So I need six blocks. Um, so let's. I need six blocks because, and I didn't grab them. That's okay. Let's put all the stuff upstairs. Then. Whoa. Okay. So starting with, let's get my <clears throat> warp drive. And I've got the gravity generator. Um, we'll put fuel tanks there, O2 there, okay, good enough for right now, so number six, I'm thinking could do it right up against the wall I guess, or I could spin it, let's spin it. And we'll just tuck it into the back wall there somewhere. All right. Come on. Wow, this thing's hard to place. Okay, what does it want me to do? Okay, it wants me to aim at the bottom. Okay. So can I move it? Yes. So let's do it there. And then... Um, what, like all the fuel, oh, the generators, the generators, the generators, because these will take up some space. So, yeah, let's rotate these, and then they can go, um, hmm, there we go, there's the console there. So we'll put one there, and there, there's our generators. Okay, and then um, let's get these fuel tanks going. So that needs to get rotated. We'll just slide that in there. And then we need, um, I guess I can just go like that, and that. And so there's an empty portion there, so we can put this O2 in there like that. And then we can do um, O2 again there because a T2 is not going to fit. And then we'll do the other T2.
And then, huh. So the, the gravity generator, let's put that over, come on, over there. And then we want, then what do we want? We want the rest of these oxygen. And oh, the warp drive, right. That's what we want. Uh, the warp drive fuel. Uh, so we're going to come up the elevator. <sighs> we're going to have an elevated portion up because of the grow plots. So we're going to need a way to get up that. And then I think it'll... Yeah. Okay, so... Let's put this over here, I think. Because, yeah, if this, okay, so now let's, let's go grab some more blocks, some more stuff. now and I want some of the interior stuff. Come on. Oh, I'm full. Okay. And I've got the grow plots on me. Okay. So let's get this stuff in. And what was that noise? Was that the noise of the closing of the cargo box? That's just weird. Okay, so we want we want one wall of just constructors. So, and the reason I'm doing three is because one. Okay, so come on, really, you gonna do this stupid thing to me? Okay, so we want one there and there and come on there. The reason I got three is one's for smelting, one's for ammo and fuel, and the other one's for constructing. Because you can't actually put a furnace on a CV, so at least I don't think so, no. Okay, so now we're going to have grow plots here. So we're going to have... We're going to have... Like... Here 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 there 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 and then we'll have a walkway of blocks and then another set of oh <sighs> It's pretty, pretty awesome looting all these steel uh, grow plots. <laughs> Didn't have to make any grow plots this time around. Pretty happy about that. Okay, let's get rid of this. And then wherever we decide to go make a kick-ass base, our final base, is going to have a lot of grow plots available to uh, do to start a huge farm. Okay. So there's our grow plots in. Now we need, so should we do like an elevator straight up here, right? Yeah. So we do an elevator straight up here. Okay. So let's just, um, Hmm, or do I do it back one? I 
do a back one. That's two back. It'll come up. One, two, like right there. It'll be right there in front of that. And then we can seal this in. Yep. That works. So we do it from the back. Okay. So right here. Okay. And we will put some blocks in. Where's my blocks? This is going to come into an elevated, so that's going to have to get covered. Okay, so I don't want that exposed, blowing up my. Uh... Okay, so let's go like this and like that. And I'm just going to bring that up and it's got to come down. So what if I come down on an angle now? Come down on an angle. Hmm. Okay, so let's pop this block out here my elevator okay so that gets us up into there now should I compartmentalize everything and like seal this in I'm not sure if I have to to tell you the truth I don't think I'm gonna need to Although what I should do is let's let's pop a ventilator in here, which I never grabbed. <laughs> okay, I can put that in later. Um, get these out of my inventory, and I guess these are going to go upstairs. Makes the most sense. And who the cargo blocks are going to go in the cargo bay, in the uh, hangar bay. Automatic door blocks, that, that. Okay. Okay, so let's, I guess we build the cockpit now. So let's get blocks over here. So, hmm, okay, let's keep going with this a little bit, oh, a little bit, and then we'll taper it in, I think, or should I just, yeah, let's do one more, come on, and then, Okay, and then we're going to start tapering in. So we want like this, I think. And we'll come out. Like that. And that gives us lots of space for, yeah. Okay, this is gonna be a real long snub nose build. I don't really care. Okay, so I think we need to get our double layer on. So let's just cake some blocks on here. And oops, ran out. 
Although I, do I really need a double layer up top? Hmm. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Double layer. Double layer. Here we come. Double layer all around. That's what I originally wanted to do. So let's stick to my goal. Or to my original plan. And we'll come to right here. Because we're going to start tapering. So let's... Come on, block. Come on. Right there. Freeze you there. Get you all the way across. Come on, all the way across. And then to there. And again. Come on. Okay. This thing's too heavy to to lift with the thrusters. I'm gonna cry. Oh, I was gonna taper that. Um, hmm. So I think if we go like this, and then. We come out a bit with that. Or no, no, we don't. We we need. I we'll have to drop something. I we'll have to. Oh no. What I need to do is I will need to go. I will need to put some something on here to hang the lights from. Let's do that and that and then let's hmm hmm Get the cockpit in. It's kind of weird that it would actually let you rotate the cockpit because I don't think you can fly backwards if you tried. So we've got one, two, If we go to here, no, we go to here, because, oh, what? <laughs> I tell you, it's, it's sometimes placing stuff is just, it bogs your mind how it does it. It's like, um, that's not even close to where I was placing it. Okay. So we want to go. One, two, right there. Okay, now we're out of time. <laughs> so we got a good start on this. Um, basically, so I'm gonna finish this off camera. I'm gonna be just sticking a bunch of thrusters on the side. I'm gonna sm smooth that out, round it a little bit. Um, and then I'll round the top a little bit and put some couple of turrets up there. Um, the drill's gonna come off the top here and another turret underneath there. And yeah, then we're done. So next episode, I should have this built and we will go warp to somewhere that the SV couldn't go and hopefully get some Maybe some Arrestrem, Zascosium, 
uh, magnesium, but I, I really need the uh, Arrestorum Zascosium to build all the, the other stuff that I want to build. So, so that's going to be our focus. And uh, until then, you guys have fun. If you like this episode, please like and subscribe. Um, you guys have a good night. Adios.